Hello everyone. My name is Martin Tenua from Ant Organic Farm. And welcome to our third module of our video series on black soldier fly farming. In the previous module, you started your own adult fly colony. In this module, you're going to learn egg harvesting, handling, and hatching. This is a very simple and easy process. Let's get started. This is our adult fly cage that we set up in the previous module. You can already see that the fly population increased. They are mating and some of them actually, they are oviposting or laying eggs. But before we go into the egg harvesting, we are going to prepare the egg hatching substrate, which is also called the starter feed diet. The starter feed diet acts as feed for the newly hatched eggs. To make the starter feed diet, add one liter of water or two cups into one kilogram of maize bran. Mix it very well to form a uniform mixture. Ensure that the moisture content is between 60 to 70 percent, meaning it should not be too dry or too wet, but just moist. If the mixture is too moist, this will lead to growth of molds and harm our eggs. If the moisture is very low in the mixture, it will equally affect the newly hatched eggs. To determine the right moisture content, use a moisture meter or you can determine it by using your hands. Pick a sample from the mixture and squeeze it a little bit. If you obtain a few drops, then you have the right moisture content. Add water if you don't observe any drops coming out. Let's look at another way we can make a starter feed diet. Put one kilogram of maize brand or chicken feed in a bucket. Add water one finger level above the feed content. Keep it for about four to five days, then it will ferment. It will soak very well, become moist and a bit flappy. You can use other starter feed diets like soya waste, brewer's waste or spent grain, and these actually have a good moisture content. Now let's collect the eggies or woods from the cage. We usually follow a schedule of collecting these woods every after two or three days. Use a cutter or a small knife and gently scrap off the eggs from the woods. Do it with care so that the eggs are not damaged. Weigh the harvested eggs in batches of 10 grams using a precise scale. If you don't have a scale, Consider using all eggs collected in one cage per day. Place a raised platform a few inches above the starter feed diet and then directly introduce the eggs on top. The raised platform can be created using a mesh or plastic. With a gap created, it helps to prevent the eggs from rotting because they cannot directly be in contact with moisture or water. Let's label our hatchery container, place it on shelves in a warm location under a shed. The warmer environment is going to make our eggs to hatch a bit quicker. All we need now is to wait for the magic to happen. That is egg hatching. Within two to four days, the eggs will hatch. They will immediately start to feed to obtain a reasonable size of the larvae. At this point, they are ready to feed on a variety of organic waste. These are important things you should note about egg handling. Do not spray any water on the eggs. 
Avoid always rats that might eat your eggs. Do not use chemicals around eggs because they are really very sensitive. Congratulations on completing the third module of our video series on black soldier fly farming. In our next module, we are going to look at organic waste sourcing and processing it as lava feed. Let's keep in touch and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.